Hi, I'm Lauren with Toast Customer Education Team, and welcome to your new POS experience. We've been hard at work to bring you Toast's enhanced POS experience, better than ever and even easier to use. Our new POS experience is a modern, feature-rich experience with new and improved updates, many that even you, our customers, have been asking for. We've upgraded our technology to make it easier and more efficient to run your point of sale and focus on what truly matters, your guests. Now, the new POS may look different, but you'll get used to it in no time. It has a lot of the same functionality that you're already using. We recommend taking the next 10 minutes to familiarize yourself with what's new. We've separated this training into three basic functions that you'll do on the POS managing orders, managing tables, and managing payments. Use the chapters at the bottom of the player to jump to certain sections. You'll be up to speed in no time. Let's kick things off with managing your orders. This demo will be shown in light mode. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the classic and new POS experiences. Your menus, groups, and items will appear just like you're used to on the right side of your screen, with menus at the top, groups in the middle, and items on the bottom. The rewards, gift cards, and house accounts buttons will also be in the same section of your menus. If you'd like to search for a menu item, you can do so using the search bar right above the menus. If your restaurant has open items enabled, this is where you're going to add an open item using this button. Now that we've added an item to an order, let's look at some changes that were made to the left side of the order screen that will help you get those orders in faster. Actions that were previously within overflow menus are now front, center, and organized. So related actions are grouped together. For example, everything related to an order is now organized by the check. You'll see the set tab name at the top of this section next to the check number. Below that, you'll see the dining button where you'll be able to select the dining option and schedule order button. This is also where the print button will be. The overflow menu to the right of the check number will now be home to many ordering functions. Here, you can split checks, adjust the number of guests, change servers, transfer a check to a table, change customer information, add service charges, add tax exempt numbers, promo codes, and void orders. When you select an item from an order, your screen will adjust just as it did with the classic POS to allow you to change the quantity, remove an item, and repeat an item. You can also view item descriptions and images if they've been added. Depending on your restaurant settings, this section is also where you're going to adjust dining options, change courses, split items, add any special requests, discount items, and make modifier adjustments. If they're enabled for your restaurant, the hold, stay, and send buttons are displayed right below the check with a fresh new design. And finally, on the bottom of this section, You'll find the pay button with the orders total displayed, as well as where you're going to apply any discounts. This is also where the no sale or fast cash button will be, depending on if an item has been added to the order. Let's call out a new ordering feature with your new POS experience, server item firing. For the sake of this demo, let's switch things to new dark mode. Now you can easily switch between dark and light mode by going to device setup in your main menu and selecting POS display theme. Awesome, now let's dive into how you can control the pace of orders sent to the kitchen. Server item firing is a new meal pacing feature that gives your servers full control over meal pacing on their POS. Server item firing allows servers to individually hold and send items on a check, use the hold button on the order screen as a true hold, meaning that once an item is held, it will not fire until it's selected and sent, and 
add new items to the check, and then send those new items to the kitchen without sending held items. There are two options for using server item firing on your POS. Now in either case, each item will need to be individually selected and then sent. The first option is to hold items first. Begin by adding items to a check and then select the items to put on hold and select the hold button. All items except for the ones kept on hold will be automatically sent to the kitchen. The second option is to send items first. Begin by adding items to a check and then select one or more items to send by selecting the send button. These items which were not sent to the kitchen will be automatically held. Let's talk about some great visual updates made to the new POS experience for managing your tables. Toast has introduced new table data on the table service screen so that you can find specific information relevant to your active tables. Each table will now display guest count, which shows how many guests are currently at the table, table timers, which shows how long a check has been opened in minutes, the table number, which will always be visible in the center of the table, the total spend, which shows the dollar amount of all the checks for each table. And lastly, the server assigned to that table by using their initials. You can also view all of this data in a list view by opening the details pane in the top right corner of your screen. With our new pan and zoom feature, similarly to how you would on your smartphone, pinching to zoom in on the screen will enlarge the tables on the screen so that you can focus on specific tables or view more data that cannot fit on those smaller tables. Pinching the screen and zooming back out will show you more tables and shrink the text to fit it perfectly on the table itself. Instead of pinching the screen, you can also simply tap the zoom button in the top right hand corner of the screen to zoom in to fit the tables that are assigned to a specific server. Tapping that button again shows the entire table service screen. Lastly, let's check out some new updates to your payment screens, starting with the new payment selection screen, which is where you accept payments for your checks. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the payment selection screen on the classic and the new POS experience. On the left, you see your check details, which will include the quantity and price of each item in your order. Within the payment details here, there will also be a new pre-authorization banner if credit card pre-authorization is enabled at your restaurant. If a card is pre-authorized, you'll see that green banner displaying the last four digits of the credit card and the guest's name. In the middle of the screen, you'll see the balance due section, which is no different from what you're used to. Here is where you can enter the amount paid by the guest in the amount tendered box. Three secondary action buttons are now below the balance due section, the split evenly button, the rewards button, and the service charge button. Just like with your classic POS, split evenly will take the total balance due and divide it evenly however you choose. The rewards button will bring you to this screen where you can key in, swipe, or scan the guest loyalty card. The service charge button is where you can apply or remove any service charges, like a delivery fee or a corkage fee. The right side of the screen will still include your payment options, but we've added separate buttons for other payment options configured at your restaurant, like gift cards or a house account. If a check has been pre-authorized, the saved card will appear right here on the top. The overflow menu on the top right of the screen is where you can toggle on and off digital receipts for your guests. Finally, let's check out the new payment terminal where you can view all of your checks. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the payment terminal on the classic and the new POS experiences. When you select a check, use the buttons on the bottom left to update the order, print the receipt, or go to the payment selection screen. 
That tab bar at the top, including your open, paid, and closed checks, now includes check counts for each tab so that you can keep track of your open, paid, and closed checks. You can now also filter your checks using this button on the top right of the screen. Once you select this button, you'll see all of the sorting and filtering options on the left pane. Lastly, when it comes to searching for your checks, rather than having to search for checks across each tab, here, you can now search within all three and filter by order status. How cool is that? And with that, you're off to the races. Thanks so much for watching. For more information on your new Toast POS experience, visit us at central.toasttab.com.